back in business and I have got my hands on this. It's Xiaomi's new flagship phone, the Mi 6. So without further ado, let's open up the box and take a look inside. Hmm. First of all, the main event, the phone itself. But before I take a look at that, let's see what else we have inside the box. Looks like a pretty standard Xiaomi type packaging, well packed in there. Uh, the manuals, manuals, manuals. And a soft back cover for your phone. There you go. Hmm. And at the bottom of the box, we have our charging plug here. Oh, Chinese one. And the USB-C cable with a, oh, that is a headphone jack adapter. Hmm, pretty good. So I've seen online some people worrying or rather commenting about the fact that this new Mi 6 does not come with a headphone jack and they can only use their wireless headphones with it. Well, problem's been somewhat solved here with the adapter that comes with it as standard, so you don't need to go out and buy a new one. All right, now with that done, let's go ahead. Here we go. The Mi 6, take it off. Oh, okay, get rid of this ugly front film. It's got a lot of bubbles on. And the back as well. Ooh, now you can see here that compared to the previous model, the Mi 5, we're looking a bit more smoother around these curved edges here. It's quite a nice sleek design, I'm liking it. Got that home button embedded here at the front and a few small bezels down the side here for the volume and for the power switch. And a big feature of this new phone, the dual rear cameras. I'll talk a little bit more about those later. Now you can see at the bottom here is the uh, port for your USB-C. Uh, runs with the USB-C just like the Xiaomi Mi 5 and also like the Mi 5 it has a 5.15 inch screen although I must say the overall design looks quite different in a good way. I prefer this one. Uh, it's obviously black, it comes in a few different colours. The one I have here is the black glass edition. It also comes in ceramic. The one I have here is a 64 gigabyte internal storage version. It also comes in a 128 gigabyte storage. All right then, so let's get down to it and switch it on. Oh yes, it's running on Android 7.1.1 with the Mi UI 8 and we're in like that, yes. Okay, and the screen, hmm, looks good, looks bright, very clear. And there we go. The Mi 6 looks good. Right, okay, so got your apps over here and some of your main apps down at the bottom. Of course, it's customizable. Now, because it's a 5.15 inch screen, it doesn't feel like too big in the hand. Um, and as you can see, the screen is actually taking up most of the front here. So uh, they've been able to save on some space there. Let's just try it out with this phone cover, this soft phone case here. All right, very inoffensive, not much different there. Okay, a bit more grippy, right. Now, one thing I especially wanted to test out are these, these, the dual rear cameras. So let's give those a go, open up. All right, so let's try out this camera and see if it matches the hype. Let's go there. And then try it with the optical zoom. Also, it has four axis optical image stabilization. So if there's a lot of movement in your picture, it should be able to get rid of most of that blurriness. Hmm, okay, front camera. Now, so these, these, these rear cameras, first of all, I, I need to say, um, they're 12 megapixels each, which is actually fewer than the single uh, rear camera you got on the Mi 5, which was 16 megapixels. But as you probably know, 
megapixels aren't necessarily everything when it comes to the quality of photos. Uh, and with the previous version, it had four megapixels on the front. This one has eight. Okay, so let's try out the front camera now. Oh, <laughs> and oh dear, it has the facial recognition. I mean, it's picking up my face and also telling me my gender, binary gender, and, um, and my age. So depending on what face I pull, I can either be 31 or maybe I can look 23. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's trying to pick up on my age, not fully accurate, but there you go. That's kind of weird. Let's just take one. <laughs> Lovely. Now, to just give you guys a basic overview of some of the uh, internal components, the new processor is a Snapdragon 835 Octa-Core, which is an upgrade from the quad-core, uh, Snapdragon 820 quad-core, which was for the Mi 5. And as far as battery life goes, they've packed in a 3,350 milliamp hour battery which means that a new phone will probably last more than a day of usage. Xiaomi has improved the RAM from the previous version, which was three to four gigabytes of RAM, up to now six gigabytes of RAM. Of course, it comes with Touch ID at the front, and there's also a dual SIM card slot in here too. All right, so that's it for my first look at the Xiaomi Mi 6. If you'd like a full review of this phone, then don't forget to leave your comments below. And to get your hands on one yourself, then go to geekbind.com and pre-order yours now. What